Basically holding, but aid still not making its way to those hardest hit areas of the city. Heavy fighting in the truce brokered by Russia and the U.S. has stopped, but fighters have not pulled back enough to allow U.N. convoys to deliver much needed food, medicine, and other supplies. There's at least a quarter of a million people in eastern Aleppo who uh, are potentially all of them in need of some kind of aid. The first 40 trucks, as we heard yesterday, uh, are loaded with food for some 80,000 people uh, for a month. And we really, really want to get it to eastern Aleppo. So as I say, it's highly frustrating. We know the world is watching. The conflict... Meantime, in the northern Syrian city of Al Rai, video posted to social media seems to show a small number of U.S. special forces being forced to exit the town. Those U.S. troops appear to be part of a group of about 40 special forces operators assigned to work by the U.S. alongside Turkish troops fighting the Islamic State. That mission was approved by the U.S. President Barack Obama earlier this week, Asiye. So, Jim, what is next in this diplomatic process? So, Russian military officials say they're willing to extend the ceasefire another 72 hours, but it's not clear what anything might change in that time period that would allow that much-needed aid into Aleppo. Both sides simply fear that if they back down any further, the other could gain an advantage. Russian military officials also say that they may begin airstrikes against those U.S.-backed rebels again unless they pull back farther from those positions. I'll see ya. ACTV, Jim Spellman, thank you.